Who's that's the reference? what brings me to CMOS. <laughs> Niggas! I saw a video. I got Momo Third Eye. You want to know what's funny? I just found you. You saying the word Third Eye Blind just made me realize that Third Eye Blind is kind of woke. Like that's a woke ass. Yeah, so I didn't. I didn't even beat that shit until oh, just now. Shit. I thought I'm winning right. No, no, he's not. They ain't. They're not woke. They're like blind. Exactly they're right. Like see. they're like intentionally like, no, nah, we white. We no, white, we white, white, white. <laughs> It's a definition of just regular. Yeah, it's exactly. a really elaborate way of saying I'm nah. not normal, dude. Just yeah. 2020 vision, nothing Talk about special. All this freedom this, and shit. Like, uh, I don't this, get this that. This episode is Third Eye Blind, guys. That's oh, it. Yeah. Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind. Yeah, right. <laughs> guys, this is Dope to Bedine, the, the Sunday, Sunday Morning Smoke, smoke show. show. I'm your host of the Table of Fuckery. This is the Round Table of Fuckery. I, I, I feel like I have to start saying this now at the beginning of the podcast. A disclaimer. This is Did the I round. Did I tell you today was a Round Table of Fuckery? No. I should have told you. I was talking, I told so the other guy that. So disclaimer. This is the Bowdy. round table of fuckery. This is an interview podcast when it wants to be, but also just a fun podcast. Sit back, relax, smoke a joint, eat some cereal, eat some food. This is, uh, I I feel like sometimes people get lost of what this podcast is. I got a, a comment recently that was like, you know, you guys need to inter interview more. I was like, I was like, when we want to, bitch. Uh, you I don't think we a little high when we <laughs> in this motherfucker? I yeah. smoke you weed. Think we, you think we doing this sober? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, when I'm here, I'm a white woman. I, I drink white claws. <laughs> Delicious. And I invite Delicious. black people on the show. I like. It. I do. <laughs> I <laughs> only <laughs> only substance I abuse is whatever gets us the most sponsorships. Mm. That's <laughs> sponsored by crack. <laughs> DC's right. only in it for the money, guys. No, I'm, no. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is your other co-host, the, the memory foam mattress of comedy, Kevin Sanchezy, <laughs> the Sanchez himself, <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. <laughs> Yo, I feel like taking no hit tops, boy. I don't know why. Well, I said, what was I, that? I, wanted, I don't know. I don't that know. That was, was like a bad shit. Irish and Jamaican accent or something <laughs> no, together. I, 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 that yeah. was third eye blind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty third eye blind. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Uh, Scottish and Jamaican. The Scottish Jamaican accent is my forte. The Scottish Jamaican accent. Okay, that's yeah. I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine but, if James Bond was from Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Bond. James Bond. James Bond. You know what's crazy? When James you said, Bond rides in a car with like all tint, and you can never know who's in it. Jamaican James Bond's like, who is that? Oh, here's the windows down. That's Jamaican James Bond <laughs> in an old Mercedes, yeah. <laughs> old ass Jamaican. Oh, Yo, man, you know what's crazy? When you said Kingston, immediately I went beautiful uh. girl. Guys, sitting beside <laughs> you know, you know Sean Kingston? Kingston. Sean Kingston. All right, so now I get it. Now I get it. Now you like three steps ahead of me. You third eye blind. <laughs> Rule of threes right now. Like. Sitting across the table is our other co-host, DC Williams. DC, how you feeling today? I feel good, man. I feel good. Um, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any like uh, things for you. DC Williams. Uh, the, the show tomorrow, Mungo and Oxtail tomorrow doesn't Ooh. matter because this is episode's coming out Sunday. But I'm gonna plug it anyway. It's every, it's every. It's every second and fourth Friday of the month. Yes, it is. Mungo and Oxtail. Yes, sir. We are on 145th at the Sugar Hill. Second and last, huh? and also and last. Kevin Sanchez will be hosting uh, tomorrow because as much as your boy loves to do it week after week, he is <laughs> week off. tired <laughs> and just wants to get up and do his set and sit let's, down. Let's so now, before we get into the guests, I oh, need to yes, preface this with something. Yes, yes we do. Um, you I, don't I, even do this often. I, I I do a lot of the bookings. I will just put that out there. I do a lot of the bookings, and it's nothing because of you like for bookings, me. <laughs> it's just I know the vibe. Me, I go over with uh, Kevin and you guys and Natalie, but. Mostly this week me. was yeah. Kevin was like, "Yo, I, I got somebody." That person bailed. <laughs> Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> so Chappelle know. bailed. Can I say something? He is very sad that he bailed. Chappelle was what? like, yeah. "There's nothing better than coming to Gas Digital. I want to promote more the first comedy." First time he's been here, he was like, "I need to, I need to go to Doped Up and Dope Up and Dine, and show off." Yeah, you guys so, are talking about Dave Chappelle, right? Not Chappelle Lacey. Yeah, Nobody was Chappelle. even thinking. Okay. Right. Who's thinking about Chappelle Lacey? I hate you. I hate uh, you. Like, Chappelle bro. is a one name dude. That yeah. nigga needs to change yeah. his name. Yeah. If you need Chappelle Lacey, Lacey. Yeah, exactly. you're wrong. Yeah. But First guys, of all, I mean, do not make fun of Brendan Schaub's protege. All right? That's <laughs> fucked up. I, don't do that. I don't all know right? who that Chappelle is, to be Lacey. With you. Guys, but I will say this Kevin wouldn't tell me. Wouldn't tell him. They guess who was coming in today. Hey. Oh, that's why you. I was like, you and really it was so funny because he goes, "Bro, trust me, I'm. I got someone coming in. He might be ten minutes late." Oh yeah, nigga time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he he's coming early. through, and oh, I yeah. couldn't imagine. I go, I know him. He goes, you know him. And I go, all right. I couldn't imagine who it was. And when I seen 
Momo hey. come through. And if you if you've been a listener to this podcast, you've heard us talk about the New York Comedy Club open mic, but we've talked about it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. those were the best days. You of my are life, a bro. legend. If those you've been listening, days, people know the name Momo. Hey. You understand that, dude? Hey. So please, without further ado, we're gonna give Momo a Momo introduction. Come into Dope Dope and Down. It's Momo and Down. Yes, Get your guns, the one gunshot, and only. gunshot, gunshot. <laughs> but also anti-violence, though. You know? Yeah, we got silencers on them. These are all tranks. <laughs> what up, Hell yeah, man. Welcome, are bro. Guys? Yo, bro. Dude, nice to see you again, so fam. So good to see you all three, yeah. y'all. But, uh, did you leave New York because of the pandemic or before the pandemic? Nah. You left was, at one point. It, I did leave, but uh, it was a crazy situation. Like, uh, Why'd you leave? All right, so it was like 2019. I had the choice of renewing my lease or not. And those are like tough times. And he was yeah. like raising my rent by like five hundred dollars. So my rent was gonna go from like thirteen hundred dollars. I was in Bushwick. I lived in a basement. You know how like the shit got flooded out? Yeah. And, like okay. the, all that rain happened. You saw videos of niggas like swimming. I would have been drowned to yeah. death. I was in like one of those. Yeah, That's how crazy yeah, yeah, New York yeah. is. Momo swimming. They're like, yeah, you got an in-ground pool now. Yeah. That's five hundred. Yeah, five hundred wow, more. Yeah. You have a pool now, Momo. Yeah. I yeah. like how they try to raise it five hundred in a basement in Bushwick. Yeah, real bro. Talk. That's, that's insane. Yeah, that's, re- that's 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 real shit. That's yeah. Crazy. So this nigga was talking crazy numbers. So um, I was like, all right, I can move. Within New York, but then I would have had to come up with like two thousand, three thousand dollars because it cost that minimum. Or, so, to I remember especially that. back then. Yeah, back then you yeah. still have to pay. You have to pay the realtor. Yeah, first month rent yeah. and last month rent and security deposit. People don't, people Bro, you got to put no broker security. fee on especially there when li- you look for an apartment. Especially living in New York before pandemic was a little. It was, it was dicey. It was, it was dicey. Di- it dicey's a good yeah. yeah, it was a little dicey. I even worked yo. in real estate, so I know how scumbaggy it could be. Like, yo, I <laughs> yeah, was my brother Hey, dog. can't beat yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join him. Yeah, yeah. real talk. Yeah, man. But I was like, yo, they're raising my rent. Fuck that. I'm raising, I'm raising my, rent. my rent. I'm raising <laughs> my rent. But what's crazy is like when I tried to find an apartment, like for a little bit, I didn't want to leave New York, so I was in real estate. I tried finding an apartment and I couldn't. Like, even with, I worked for the company that I would have had to find an apartment <laughs> through. They were like, nah, nigga, you can work for us, but we ain't getting you no apartment. I was like, damn, all right. I think that company's out of business, knuckling. Uh, Mom was so bad at realty, he couldn't find him, his own self a house. Nothing, dog. He was like, hey, he's, you're doing open houses for yourself? <laughs> I'm like, like sitting across from myself yo, at the table. Sorry, like, bro, someone right. else just closed on it. They have a like, much better, better resume. I'm like, you don't have any uh, co-signers? And then I'm looking at myself like, nah, dog. <laughs> like, yo, so how much do you make? It's like, nigga, you know what we do. <laughs> Oh, uh, nah. So. And then just lie. Yeah, I, I, I fucked up, man. You lie to yourself. Actually, someone just closed. Yeah, exactly, right? Actually, I tried lying on my own application, and uh, yeah, I saw right through that shit. But, uh, nah, so uh, me and my girl were like, all right, we, we could try to find something in New York together. Or, like, an opportunity came up where she was a uh, caretaker for this family. And okay. they had two kids, and they were moving to Philly. Mm-hmm. They uh they loved us like when your partner watches kids you end up watching the kids and shit and mm-hmm. y'all just become like a can giant I she's a, uh, is it a au pair like an oh is it au sort pair of sort of she was like their nanny au pair black female influence like she was like their friend no but I, I I know what well, reason why I asked, I used to date a girl that did the same thing and it's different it's not like a nanny they're really like yeah, she was involved. those kids look at them like yeah. You're family. my second, yeah, yeah literally yeah. family. Yeah, but. real talk. So um, I used to go over there, kick it with them, smoke weed, we chill. Like, we became a bigger Smoke weed family. with the kids? <laughs> yeah, nigga, they would roll up them little hands. <laughs> 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 the game is sitting there like, <laughs> 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 yo, real though, man, they got no... I'm telling you, control. the same yeah, way we bro, learned comedy different. quicker because of him, they're rolling up like, I'm fucking up. Do, 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 yeah, right. I fuck up. Real nah, quick. man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... So close to the family. They they wanted to move to Philadelphia. They got. And they didn't want to lose the apartment in New York. They didn't want to lose their shit either. So we're like all of four of us. Like yo, we can go in on a big ass house mm. in Philly. Oh, right? and that's what we ended up doing. So it was like a four story, mm-hmm. big ass house in South. And that was pre pandemic. I remember you telling yeah. me you were going back to Philly and that you weren't doing the mic anymore. My rent was gonna be yeah. dumb cheap. I was like, all right, four or five hundred. You shit. chose to be comfortable. I was thinking that you chose to be that's comfortable. What the thought process was. I also was thinking that. All right, ran into a wall in New York. Like in comedy, I just didn't feel like I was progressing in any type mm-hmm. of way. Like uh, I have a friend of mine who said, all right, Momo, you could write a joke, but who gives a fuck? 
And it's like you gotta start thinking about that in comedy terms. Like who nobody gives a fuck. Everybody funny mm-hmm. at a certain point, at a certain right? Point, yeah, like yeah, everybody can dunk. Oh, no one gives a fuck. Bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> nobody gives a fuck that you're funny yeah, no more. Yeah, so yeah. now but it's, it's like, like, also like a basketball play. There's so many it's everybody like can, can, can you do this play? Can yep. you do like the stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet? Yep. The yep. De- defense, this, yep. whatever the fuck it is. But if you were to just like pass that nigga to rock, yeah, he can dunk it. He can shoot he can shoot a three for like a month. You ain't a pro. Like you go, you could go to Europe League. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go to the D League. Mm. And I'm going to just like work go my way up for back a little up, bit. right? So I was thinking like, all right, I'm going to go to Philly. I'm going to do an hour. I'm going to just get my, mm. get my muscles right and just like really come back to New York in some way, shape, or form. Pandemic happens like immediately, nigga. Yeah. Like immediately. Yeah. Like I got down there. Um, we got down there in like August. All right. Um, 2019, right? Uh, 2019. Yeah. And I still had like a couple of residual shows that I, but I try to book like months, of two months in advance and shit, right? So I, I'm leaving there August, and now, um, so like September, October, <clears throat> November, I'm in a new city. This is when you start hearing the rumblings, by the way. There's a weird there's a weird infection going around the Yeah, China. nigga, <laughs> shit is wild, right? right? So I'm already on that flat earth shit, a uh, nigga wild. I'm already, I'm, I'm there. Because you guys already know me. Uh, nigga, I be having Farrakhan Fridays and seven Saturdays. <laughs> Nigga's out of his mind. Jesus. So, right? Uh, uh, like, uh, I'm already seeing about this shit like, mm. coming up. The first time it came up on the nigga webs was, uh, they were like, yo, there's this Chinese doctor who's just talking about something and they disappeared. Mom was like, I don't oh, believe yeah, in Chinese. Right, right, right. I don't believe, I don't no believe in the, no, yeah. the Chinese. And, and, but here's the thing, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I ain't even heard of no when Chinese. When I heard it was on the other that. side of the planet, I was like, Everybody, okay. bro. I was we, like, we Gucci. We was making that's fun it. of it. That's yeah. not traveling. Yeah. Yeah. They got typhoons over there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they just can't. Oh, they lactose intolerant. Is. They can't yeah. even deal with it. Are they really lactose intolerant? Most Chinese people. Yo, they be selling hella bubble tea and shit. That shit is milky, no? Oh, no, you're right. Actually, no, nah, it's not lactose intolerant. Indian people are lactose intolerant. <laughs> no, dude. Intolerant. They, they, uh, they sell bubble tea, which is milk tea. The bubbles is little, like, acid tone. It's little, uh, like, little medicine. So yeah. it sells but it's the stomach. boba, isn't it? Boba? I have no idea, man. Real quick, though, is it? I was not for stout Asian hate. Yes, it is. right? Like right. everyone who's not white is <laughs> lactose intolerant sometimes. Yeah, Except nah, most people. definitely. I, I think it's because like in some deeper way we're not supposed to be eating that shit, drinking milk and shit, right? Yeah, it's bad for you. First of all, sea malls, baby, get that sea <laughs> malls, get that sea malls, sea malls milk, bro. Sea malls milk. Yo, C-Mall's milk. Oh, man. I love her having a conversation about like Momo's backstory, how he made himself back to New York, and DC's like, yeah, that's crazy. But like, y'all ever thought that we're not supposed to? Have that? Yeah, yeah. 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 you want to know some hey, deeper DC, shit? Hey. Always. Oh, okay. hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, about to hit you with something. So some deeper shit. Y'all know who Moloch is? Moloch sounds. Is that your older brother? Nah, nigga. Is that a god of war? He was like a, uh, like a, like a, it was like a god of uh, yeah, he's a god cow. He was like this, ba- you know, like there's Bao. Yeah, like yeah. Like the goat guy. Like he yeah, was the yeah. cow one. Yeah. So he's like Yo, a little evil. Moment, you know Bao. <laughs> yeah, Bao. B-A-A-L. He's supposed to be technically Satan or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. Satan as a cow is Moloch. I think that uh, milk is Moloch's <laughs> milk juice, nigga. Like it's jizz that nigga come. So the reason why we all throwing it up because this, oh, 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 you just all, nah, nigga. Think we're, about it. we're exercising a demon or something. Yeah, real out talk. Our skin. The word milk actually is. <laughs> Don't a, do that. Nigga, Don't do this. I've done this. Bro. I've done the research. Like milk, it's a word. I think it's like it's like Anglo-Germanic from like the 15th century, and that's when all that evil shit was going down, <laughs> nigga. Like, in the milk. <laughs> it's all in the milk, baby. It don't, right. it okay, so how my rent went up. Oh. <laughs> Right, so, so yeah, I start in, saying so that shit out loud. You're in Philly. You're in Philly. So you're in Philly. Go to now. Philly. Uh, yeah, I had some shows, so I'll, like I would bounce back to New York like every once in a while, right? Mm. So like every once a week for like about two months. I wasn't really like even settled in Philly once I moved to Philly. Um, next thing I know, um, I had one show uh, somewhere in Brooklyn or whatever the fuck, and uh, I'm coming home and I miss my. Peter Pan bus back to Philly, and I have to catch like a 4 a.m. bus to go back home now from the Port Authority. So I just bought whatever the next ticket was. And uh, homeless people own the Port Authority at that <laughs> yeah, time. You yeah, know what do. I mean? Like yeah, it is do. theirs. Like, we, we've, um, We've killed them all, but they're, they're no longer <laughs> exactly. at the party. You know what's crazy? Way, so this is, that they're well, gone. That's what I'm saying. But, no, that's but, not true. They, they do this hotel, the little like hotels in like Hell's Kitchen. I would see it on my ads when I lived in Hell's hey, Kitchen. Hey, Dylan, it's not true that we didn't kill all the homeless? <laughs> yeah, right. But I haven't also, seen one. When's the last time you saw a homeless person? No, I'm <laughs> just telling you, no. When you walk this hotels, you'll just look up and be like, why are all these homeless people in this hotel? Dude. Straight drug addicts. Too. They're just filled. 
It's the worst hotel you'll ever see. Go to the hell, go to Hell's Kitchen. Worse than Hotel Six because I've been in a Hotel Six. I've been in a Hotel Six. Hotel Six. Yeah, Hotel Six. Hotel Six. Yeah, he made it nicer. He made it nicer. It is. He has a concierge. You have to do that in his head. You have to do that in his head. It's a Hotel Six. Yeah, right. Oh damn. My life's not crumbling right now. You realize homeless people didn't die during the pandemic, though. Anyone else realize that? Because he was saying they're all murdered. Of course, no, 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 no. They are impervious to death. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a one. Want to live forever? Become homeless. That niggas don't die, bro. They were. What's gonna kill you? COVID. What's gonna kill you? Nothing. Your Nothing. fucking foot is I'm swollen. In, I'm in the, exactly. Yeah, right. shit is I'm, seeing, I'm seeing mass swelling. <laughs> yeah, that's because that circulation. Screamed, they need bro. that sea moss. I'll be nigga. out there. See, yeah, man. Bro. You can see how just flaky they sit. This is the reference. Right before the podcast started, DC <laughs> just looked at Momo and goes, you be eating sea moss? I was like, yeah, nigga. I was just all day. I don't know how they saw it. Black people know things about each other. Yeah, man. So, so you're trying to get back to Philly. Trying to get back to Philly. It's 5 a.m. the house? Yeah, yeah, we had a crib. You had the house. Now. Yeah, we already we're, moved. I'm already moved at this oh, point. Okay. But now it's October. Like we moved in August. Um, once you move somewhere, you ain't doing shit for like the first yep. three weeks. Just no matter yeah, what, like yeah, unpacking, yeah. getting your life together. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to find work while yep. I was down there. <coughs> you got to question your decisions six, seven. Times. Yeah, real talk. I'm like, every yo, day. nigga, we just moved by the oh, way. And I keep going back to New York every week, like for two months. Mm-hmm. I'm coming back for shows and shit. So I'm like, man, I miss New York already. I would run into people and be like, yo, I heard you moved. And I'm like, yeah, I'm only here for the show. I'm about to go take a bus back. Like, already like, fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm regretting. It, I'm regretting it. But like, it's homeless time at the Port Authority, and. uh I'm sitting there like sandwiched in between niggas, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting here like I ain't afraid of nothing, right? Yeah. And these niggas is coughing like yeah. shit. But I'm thinking it's just regular ass homeless this, coughing. This is you what know? December? This is this is October 2019. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The first reported case was November. November. Yeah. yeah. Right. In New York. Uh, no, nah, I think nah. in the reported in New York was like uh, January. Asian girl going uh, to uh, Italy. Yeah, who, who yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. So, nigga, I, I'm already, like, left side of my brain is like, all right, so this Chinese doctor disappeared, and they said that it's, like, this crazy disease and shit. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm not going to be all racist and shit, too. <laughs> Whatever. Were these um, uh, a- homeless Asians? Cause that, yeah, there was a, there were homeless uh, Asians? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's smart. It, it was, Don't forget, the stock market also fell around that same time. I'm, st- I'm saying there was homeless people was of all poor, ethnicities poor, and, so yeah, yeah, yeah. races and colors and creeds. Yeah, yeah. It was the UN of race. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the, the port of authority. authority. Yes, exactly. This you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It was a portal to... You can be homeless from any, any state. Yeah, you know from what I mean? every state. You see, like, your passport to get I've been homeless in 1910. 1910! So, uh... I, I I left that evening. I go back to Philly. I had a cough on the bus. Oh, Damn. You think you caught it no. immediately? ASAP. <laughs> Bro. ASAP. This is pre CMOS Momo. No. Right. Oh. I'm saying. This is pre CMOS so, Momo. I was fucked up. Yeah. I mean, Damn. for three weeks. So now it's like October. That might be Can a- we detour to a beach? Yo, I need some CMOS. Nigga, Can we go buy a CMOS beach? CMOS is at work. Yeah, We're going to get into CMOS. Yeah, we we will get into CMOS a little bit. Um, I kind of pulled up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you need that selenium. I'm telling y'all niggas, you need the selenium. <laughs> DC said, yeah, I don't know. I never seen DC get real. He goes, selenium, selenium, all them shit. DC laughed. DC laughed away. Yeah. I got pulled up. I got it right now. Yeah, man. DC's like, I'll tell you where you can pick it up. Facts. Shit is great, man. DC's like, I need to But you got to go to Harlem, and I don't know if you want to go to Harlem. No, no, no. I ain't going to make you go to Harlem. I ain't going to make him have to go all the way. you bring me some? Yeah, I got you. Actually, now the spot is on Houston. It's called Puff and Passion. I hope the, them niggas uh, hear this. If you want to sponsor, I'm your boy right here. You know me. Do, do, Momo. Man, nigga didn't even say doped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to sponsor me? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, oh, no. Sponsor them. You but, me, by, but, proxy, but, by proxy, like, I would use the, the platform residual. to get more people. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yo, sponsor this podcast. Nah, I respect it. Yeah. Nah, I was, yeah, we do it. The hustle, the hustle is. No, we do it. Respect. So, so you out here, you're not trying to cough. I was coughing. I was coughing, and I didn't know what was up so i'm telling my girl like yo i think i got sick coming from the port at 30 and she was just Close. like oh. you immediately feel it. you're like, like hey I'm by the ASAP. way asap sickness that i had never felt. ever felt in wow. my entire so you tell her like hey i'm fucked up and she was just like all right sleep that way she was like, all right um <laughs> I like that was the solution weeks. i was sick for I, like i want to say like 28 days but like really <laughs> 28 days like mm. i was like yo i'm still like you know how like it, you measure how sick you are by like the peak sickness yes i was peak sick for a month straight 
Oh wow! Like I could. now, were you experiencing the symptoms that they later said, like shortness all of, of breath? All of it. Uh, did, all you lose, of it. did you lose? Did you lose taste? I couldn't think. Yeah, I couldn't. I when couldn't I caught think. when I caught COVID, I couldn't think either, and Nigga. I got really scared. You know what I mean? I started so now, feeling like a Neanderthal. Or some part, shit like exactly that. some some Cro Magnon yeah. shit. Like yeah. I'm I'm of the mentality that like all right, potentially I could just be getting older, and I don't know what it feels like to get older. Oh so, shit! You, know you went mean? that deep. I went that deep. Like I got early onset Alzheimer's. I don't know. I don't know. Look, like, I was no Seamoss in me. Like, I'm susceptible to anything. So I was just like, all right, I could just be getting older. I'm 34. At the time, I'm 32. And they say, like, when you pass your 30s, something just happens. It's Bro, I, I turned 31. I was like, ooh, it happens, feel nigga. Different. It happens. You got more bones. I feel yeah, like you got, got more, more bones. bones. I feel like you got more bones and <laughs> shit. I'll be like, oh, that's. You just wake up one morning, you added all these bones. I all these bones. Nigga, I ain't never had that bone before. That shit, shit. that shit used to just be like some water or some shit. But like, now, anyway, I'm like, all right. Something's up. Uh, I'm the peak sickness for a month, and I I couldn't think. Like I play a lot of chess, like a lot of it, and my ranking went from like I'm like a two thousand level chess player to like seven hundred. I don't know what that means. So like in chess, like you gain points or lose points with every game, and if you play somebody who's like worse than you, you lose like ten points at a clip. So just to give it perspective, if I'm hanging around people I'm playing with. I'll probably go from like 1,800 to 2,000, somewhere in that range. I went down to 700, like almost like I had no idea how to play chess. That's how Whoa, that's bad. Like, that's it bad literally job. went down. That fog down. brain is real, bro. I couldn't. And, and let me ask you a question, because I know for me when I had it, I was foggy for like a month and I thought it was going to go away. Yeah. And it took another two weeks. Son, so, and I'm still doing. I'm still in there. I'm still not at from 2019? whatever I think it was. Like really? whatever I used to, however I felt I thought I thought. What is that? Metacognition and mm -hmm. shit? Like, however I thought, I thought a nigga wasn't thinking like that no more. Like, I was on some other shit. Yeah. So I was just like, all right, damn. And then comes, like, December shit, and they start talking about COVID, and Trump was still president at the time. And I'm Shout like, out Donnie T. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Is this, like, some other thing? Like, yo, what, like, is this, like, some chemical warfare type yeah, shit? Yeah. Philly shuts down. Totally. Yeah, I remember. Like, yeah, Philly, I mean, the Philly whole world hard. shut down. Philly went bro. hard, though. Bro, but they went, they really went hard. hard. Philly did go hard. You know what? We did a show in 2020 mm. in Philly, mm. or at least clear, no, close by, bro. Mm -hmm. They fucked that city up. Yeah. They, yo, bro, I it's haven't trash. seen. I hate one. Philadelphia, and it's, it's been trash too, hell, dog. Bro, I grew up I, there, and I know how shitty it is, but it got shitty year. Bro, sure. I had I hadn't seen that type of poverty yeah. since like the Bronx and New York in the in bro, I have yeah, a, I have yeah. a line. I have yeah, a line in my. Uh, I have a line in my. I have a line in my set now. Where I just go like I'm talking about Philly briefly, and I just go, <laughs> Have you guys seen Philly re recently? Looks like Iraq. Like yeah, it's, bro, Philly's bro. beat up. I saw a lady on a stoop, bro. And there was something about the way she was looking down, and her eyes were so sad, bro. Bro, they're defeated. Mm -hmm. Like niggas in all right, so homeless people even at the port authority, like niggas is moving. I gotta gotta go steal some <laughs> copper. I gotta do something. Like they have plans. They see a yeah. future, and there's a way <laughs> out of some copper. <laughs> I don't know what these niggas doing, but like they see a. Hey, but that's a plan. That's, that's a plan, plan bro. Nigga. Also, that's good money. I mean? at the, at the, I'm, not saying that, I'm not gonna say that it's I'm gonna bet on their plans because they did end up homeless. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they're not the best strategic thought. People, <laughs> but whatever. These niggas is like looking forward to something. They have hope. Niggas in Philly have zero hope. There yeah. is nothing. It is literally I am waiting to die. They, if I, to, they had a racist mayor for a long time. I heard. Or governor oh, for or something sure. Like that. It's Italian trash. Dude. Redlining all over the place. Yeah, like yeah. literally it's still redlining in, in Philly. Oh, How could yeah. you do that in one of the blackest credit score? Credit scores, fake ass shit like that. Like What's they redlining, can, but it'll like also Jerry not approve. Oh, well, oh, redlining oh. is when you can force a certain group of people into a certain place mm -hmm. by uh, denying them uh, homes and so red living lining, rights. You can't live in Chelsea. Red line, like, it's like red Chelsea, line, like, red line. Yeah. You over niggas there, live Providence. there, yeah, 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 yeah and it's yeah. super. It's not it, hardcore with it. Seen. All right, so. I'm going to tell you some fucked up shit about Philly, man. The worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life I saw in Philly during the pandemic. All right. So um, it was like desert town, like ghost town. By the way, it was just the trades the Sixers were making. <laughs> 
I'm I gave up. I gave up on basketball. Hey, 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 I just, magnets by in the way, rims, man. I don't this, watch is really, that shit. this probably won't be a clip, but I'm clipping it. Tom, that's for you. Fuck you. Uh, uh, damn, go Tom. heat. Go heat. Hey, yo, Big J, he's talking to you too. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, oh, damn, damn, Big J. You're going to let him talk shit like that. <laughs> nah, so, like, check it out. So, what'd you see? What the happened? train is called the L in Philly. Like, the. Uh, what an appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> you catch that shit every day, hey, bro. Really it, like, it feels like. Take it down my L's out here, bro. Down the L, man. It's the L train, right? So. And it's not even really elevated that off anyway. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I see what you did there. Yeah. Elevated. Yeah, but it's what it stands for. It should be. But it's called the L, and uh, it basically runs east to west mm -hmm. um, throughout the city. And um, I got on the train because I still had a job. Um, like, I ended up working at this uh, for this company. They're like a ghost stealth company, so I'm not allowed to talk about them. But ghost. I thought you literally meant you work for a place that deals with, like, ghosts. Ghosts, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I, mean, I still think you do, by the way. I could, man. The sea boss lets you see the different dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, so, like, I, I got on the train, and I'm getting off of the train, and everybody's looking in one direction, and I'm like, all right, I'm from New York. I don't. You don't look. care. You don't I'm look. Like, oh, yeah. Fuck, bro. But everyone's like reacting, and I'm like, all right, I'm not. I I, I don't care. Um, and they're like staring out the window, and I get out the TV. They're like, guys, Ben Simmons just hit a three. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, yeah, well, there's magnets done. in the rims. Just look at every time Ben Simmons hits a three and how wet it is. It's so fake. Anyway, <laughs> basketball fake shit. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so then well, uh, everyone's looking. I, I, the I look outside the train and I see like a pool of blood, like a ginormous pool of blood. Like I mean, like it is extensive, like huge. And I'm just like, all right, that's a some that's very, enough for a whole body. Yeah, that's a lot of blood right yeah. there. And I'm like, oh, so that's what everybody. Was Someone's looking at. missing a limb. I I, I I like turn the music down out of my headphones, and all I hear is like, "Come on, like come on!" Like a guy who's just like rushing a woman. He's like, "Come on, bitch!" Like come on. And I'm like really sensitive to that, just because like a really anti women abuse. And I'm yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. Right, "Am I gonna have to do something? Like, am I? Like, I'll just feel compelled to interact." But then, like, I step around and I realize that he's like, come on, he's like hurrying her, and the blood is coming out of her arm. Like, she's trying to tie off, like, waiting for the train. I guess she couldn't oh. wait for the train. And, like, she's now, like, stabbing oh, at her oh fucking arm oh with God. a needle, my nigga, Fuck. while it is, like, Burning, stop, like spurting. Stop, Bellagio. <laughs> I'm over here like, like this. Like, this is how I watch the boys, by the way. Like, it, it was like spurting blood, and I was just like, man. <laughs> Oh, oh my God, man! Bro. Hey, listen to this motherfucker. He's telling you to hurry up, <laughs> no, bitch! That shit is insane, <laughs> bitch, you better get on that train. <laughs> bitch, bitch, listen, uh, it's all right. Like, I've never seen blood. Spurt. I've never seen blood. <laughs> Imagine I, I, I seen it spurt out of my dick, bro. but that's another story. Oh, continue, continue, Jesus continue, 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 continue. Listen, continue. stop jabbing it with a heroin yeah. needle. Nigga. That's dude, not the way to do. It. You got their, toes. Stop with your dick every week. You're on, you're on a no, four, I know, I know. You're on a four week another, DC, another, no, 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 no. I got listen, you. I don't talk about my dick though. I talk about why, when sometimes when play? I shit, I come. That's it. Why'd your voice and play? we don't. We're not talking about it in this episode. So go ahead. When you shit, when you come, ain't that called like a blumpkin? Is that really? I think it's called a blumpkin. Because. It, when we add you to this, it's hey, gonna be DC Blumkin, 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 Blumkin Williams. Yeah, the Blumkin man. Yeah, the you the Blumkin man. By the way, I I I, I keep going like this. I'm like, is there more like? Well, basically, what is, he, what he he's like grabbing her, and she goes onto the train spray, and there's just like the giant pool of blood, which means that she's been going at this for damn. I time. wish a Blumkin, the actor performing fellatio while we're seeing. Yeah, I yeah. mean that's not why it's happening. I'm not getting any fellatio. Oh, you're just coming. Day. Oh, so you're inadvertently I don't, Blumkinning. I don't want to talk. I know you haven't heard Blumkin. before. <laughs> we talked about it like three, four I'm times. Auto Blumkin. <laughs> auto Blumkin. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I don't even need a partner. It's a Blumkin. <laughs> <laughs> it's the next level. So anyway, um, that's yeah, a good Philly, nickname for him. Auto Blumkin. Auto Blumkin, <laughs> by the way. And that was intro for the next show. The next show. Auto yeah. Blumkin. Auto Von Blumkin. Memory Foam Mattress of Comedy. Auto Von Blumkin. I like that. Auto Von Blumkin. That's also my middle name, too, Von. So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Siobhan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Black people know everything about each other. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. That is you add so the so Von, <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> DC's like, I'm with it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Auto Blumkin. Auto Von Blumkin. That's not like a thing or some shit. I hate you. Kind of German a little too. Otto von Blunkin. Yeah, I yeah. like it, man. Yeah, that, should you be a, that should be your rap name, bro. Otto von Blunkin. <laughs> <laughs> Shitting. Otto my, von Blunkin. My stage name right now is Amy Schumer when I perform. Can you not do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, are you just fucking a bunch of black guys? Is that why you go by Amy Schumer? <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. Are you stealing no. Patrice's material? Is that what you No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm just not being funny. No. Oh, that, that works. That works too. You fat bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, Amy, I'm sorry. You know, I've, I've met you many times. You're a nice lady. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that's she's how you a, talk about your friends in comedy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Don't that bitch. That? Come on, man. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so, on some shit like Philly just turned into a ghost town, and like Philly's already the type of place that closes at five p.m., six p.m. Like, there's really man. nothing to do. But like you Jersey. add the pandemic, yeah, it's just like Jersey in that way. Um, you add the pandemic as another layer. It's just another excuse for these heroin addict, loser, fat pieces of shit i love you philly but like, it you've is, seen like, a fat oh loser heroin addict oh, that's yep. what philly yeah. is bro. Hey, those cheesesteaks got fucking, hella cows I, I, i'll man. say this much that's it's crazy hella cows. bro you'll you'll see like you know homeless, they're not doing sea malls no, 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 unless there's cheese facts <laughs> you'll see homeless drug addicts brand new eagles jersey <laughs> all the time but they could get they boosted it and they're gonna probably sell a it player that just got drafted yes yeah exactly yeah man they're saving up for heroin and eagles gear bro that's it right h e r o i and they're like, that's the third string rookie. They're like, yeah, man. He's got to have it. Man. You know what I mean? And Just he's always wearing it. black uh, Air Force Ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the most, so, the most dangerous of the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah shout out. Shout out. Uh, no, no, no need for apologies. apologies. Derek Gaines and uh, black Air Force One, uh, Dave Price. Right. Oh, is that what they do? They yeah. on that type of time? Yo, he he got, yo, stick yo, people like right. COVID foggy brain hit him hard. Oh, yeah. Yo, bro. No, this foggy brain. And by the way, by the way, still still better than most comedians. Yeah, real talk. Is it a wild natural nigga? I don't care. I could but how's your personal arm. life? Bro. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> awful, man. I can't oh, remember yeah. shit. I be looking at my phone like, <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, isn't that funny, know. though? I will say, as I've gotten better in comedy, I'm looking, I'm like, comedy's doing well. Ugh. Like, <laughs> right, oh, yeah. so, you know what though? But that just gave me the perfect excuse. Kevin, why you treat me like that? Bitch, it was COVID brain, bro. I COVID know, brain, man. Control. I forgot, man. I didn't say, wait. Long-term what, COVID tip. What was I saying about this? Way before I've been trying to coin the phrase. See, this is COVID break. He can't remember. What was that saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kevin, we, we, we never spoke we about this. <laughs> Kevin is how it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't taste it. <laughs> Something about COVID break. <laughs> Yeah, I remember pandemic brain. Pandemic used brain. You used to keep saying I, I, yeah. Yo, bro, brain, pan, man. pandemic brain is a real no thing, shit. bro. I should coin that shit. It's long term, and there's long term <laughs> symptoms, too. But COVID's like three years old, bro. Sensibly. <laughs> no, bro, no, it's not. Shit. COVID is happening COVID right is now. No, happening, no, it's bro. not. Come on, guys. Yeah. It's, okay, wait. I don't right, know what this pod is going to get. Wait, wait. with the long term. That's the best thing you said. You're right. It is three years old. It's not three years old. It's three years old. Put a timer for two minutes. We have two minutes to let everyone get their this. COVID shit out. No, no, I'm not I'm even saying the word. At the end of the timer, All right. we were no, moving on. I'm going to just say that Hold niggas on. is still getting sick. Uh, I saw somebody on my Facebook timelines. Their wife died. He's a young man like us. His wife had like sepsis. I, she probably didn't sepsis. get the uh, sepsis. vaccine. I don't yeah. know what the shit is. I don't, sepsis I don't know is from is. shit. I don't know what sepsis shit. is. It just sounds bad. It has like most well, of the letters in Pepsi. C-Moss. And Pepsi is disgusting. She, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think the sea moss could have done much for her. But yeah. she was uh, she died, and I was just like, damn, niggas is still dying over this shit. That's dying of sepsis sounds like she does. Two thousand eight. Oh man, I'm yeah. supposed to be real disrespectful. You can't be. She ain't gonna listen to. Oh, that's, shit. True, that's true. I ain't even friends with him. I went to high school. Bitch, <laughs> you know? died the same way Fergie got. <laughs> Yo, what if you find out she was dying from a, uh, ATM, anal to mouth? Uh, and then she he like used COVID. You, yeah, COVID no, when you use said COVID. the acronym first. Yeah, no, that was. Uh, <laughs> How was she died from ATM? <laughs> I was like, wow, an automatic telling hey, machine. She, she got money. <laughs> nah, that's but, about uh, that's about two minutes, uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, Philly turned to shit. The city shut down, and here I am, left New York. Mm-hmm. Pandemic happening. Ain't no shows because there would only be like one show a night. And it's the one show everybody would go to. Unless you want to perform for the for the squirrels and the birds. Yeah, real talk. And the homeless dude. And the homeless dude, man. But you know they got a train to catch, so they're not even interested. Um, <laughs> even the I, squirrel does, dude. By the way. Yeah, right now I'm. I, I just was stuck. I was like really, really stuck in Philly, and then like now I'm with my girl. We're both stuck. We're not being able to chase our dreams. All the jobs shut down, so you can't even really get a job. I had to just get a job instead of like uh, office manager type shit. Mm-hmm. Um, so after a Wait, year, you're an office manager. Yeah, that's I got that you. has to be the coolest. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 got, I got you, I got you, got you. All right, guys, this week, remember, make sure to keep the stock portfolios up, make sure to fold the papers, <laughs> refill the ink cartridges in all the um, folders and uh, you know all, I know all the printers. You know how guys, <laughs> thank you guys so much that for is, working for me. That is do, 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 Yeah, what up, That's not what our office manager Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I couldn't think of office stuff. Office manager. Hey, Let's get it, let's get it. 
Hey everyone! Yep, you heard that right. It's actually not Dylan, it's Natalie. Yep, that's me back there having a great time watching the episode. You know when I'm not having a good time? Watching these two buffoons try to go through an ad read. So let me tell you about our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Neven Eyewear. Neven is our favorite new partner because they never need a promo code. Summer is basically here. I'm sure some of you are looking for a pair of sunglasses, but they're either trash or way too expensive. And that's why Neven is here. You get great great quality sunglasses and they are always buy one get two free that's right just go to their website add three pairs to your cart no code is needed buy one get two free super affordable and really great quality i have a pair i love them 100 percent risk-free offer free shipping and returns an everlasting guarantee lost stolen broken even replaces every pair that you purchase that's neven eyewear.com n-e-v-e-n eyewear.com Com. Yeah, get them. They're great. Back to the show. Shout out. By the <laughs> way, great. that was that was great time. All day, time every day. day. New York That's comedy club. We gotta talk about that. But hold on. Dylan is such a guy who wants to be a boss. He thinks that the office manager tells other people <laughs> to do office managing oh, shit. Oh, no. oh, you're right. You're right. Hey, yeah, that's yeah, your job, nigga. Like, yeah, that's yeah, your you job. Go, you <laughs> go get the break. He could fix the things you were saying were right, but I was like, no, no, no. Right. He, they can, guys, 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 guys. guys. No, they have real jobs. Yeah. <laughs> he was looking in the job. mirror the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to I'm this dude. I was myself. like, yeah, he does. he's actually right. That's what office manager does. And you were like, no, no, no. That's what you, you do. do. You do. Fucking tell him, yeah. oh, I didn't like walking in and being like, all right, so everyone's gonna do that, right? They're like, bro, no, that's why we hired you. <laughs> staff, but see, what's funny is like, I'm a great boss, but every staff that I've had, there's always one person that hates me, and it's like, yo, I, I guess that's just the natural order of things. Like, you're supposed to hate your boss. Oh, worse, people hate you more if you start as their co worker, yeah. no, that you became a manager. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it always before. gets weird, bro. I did that before. This shit always I used gets to work weird. at Amazon. Yeah, you a wild boy for saying that, bro. <laughs> you know that, bro. I used to work at Amazon. I was in their customer Something that happened service, recently? And I went from being on the phone to like, like training these niggas and motherfuckers was like 50, 60 years old being Jesus. there like who the fuck is this? Like, yeah, that's you know, not yo, fit, yo, yeah. an old an older dude that when you uh, a young guy comes in and starts telling him how to do stuff, they there will never be a guy that's like, Oh yeah, please. Yeah, please. please. After yeah, you, yeah. After young you, man, yeah. twenty two. I've year been old. alive long as coming, yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You've been doing this bum ass. Guys, job. this episode's been so great. Let's let's get into plugs real quick. Let's get into plugs and we get yeah. back into more uh more of the story. I mean, this is one of my favorite episodes so far. We've had not only the Philly talk, the little interjections. I feel like the story's halfway done. We haven't even got back to <laughs> how I just Momo. moved back to New York. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I was stuck there. No, no, came we gotta get to that at what point. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you lose the house? There it is. Oh, did yeah. I lose the answer? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, Momo, yeah. tell me to find you. Ooh. At Average Mo. Yes, sir. On Instagram. You doing yes, any sir. shows coming up? Uh, sexy voice. Check it out. I got a show on Saturday. <laughs> it's <laughs> coming out on Sunday. It's going to be a secret pour. Oh, it's Ooh. a secret, baby. Catch me on Sunday. I oh. know the owner's a secret pour. Oh, yeah? Good people. Can you get me free drinks? <laughs> yeah. uh, I have a show, but they don't really like me that yet. Oh, uh, <laughs> like, nah. like that yet. I'm going to tell some good jokes. I need 10 minutes. Hey, um, I could relate to headlining a show and not getting free drinks either. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember. I, I went to Jersey and they made me pay for my drinks. Oh, me like, too. What the fuck? Have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to be here. And then some dude just walked in the room and said the N-word. And then I was like, oh, damn, man. Like, now it's like that. Like, oh, now I got to be in Jersey defending all black people in this, this fucking oh, Oakley stage. Anyway, then my nutshell. <laughs> Yes, sir. Shall, uh, I miss him. Where is it? Yeah. I miss this. Guy. I miss oh, him so much. Actually, I'm doing Pink's next Wednesday. Hey, shout out Pink's. That should be cool. Hey, what you doing August fifth? Oh, I'm gonna be doing a show with Kevin. Where at? I think it's over at uh, Sugar Hill Cafe. Sugar Hill Cafe. <laughs> it's called Mongo and Oxtail. Mongo and Oxtail. Way, way, way Oxtail. And I'm gonna be there tomorrow just to show some support to the realest niggas I know. Skr, skr. Wait, I thought I thought you guys do the second um, and and fourth of every Friday. <gasps> August 5th, you're doing a show in Brooklyn with, uh, with uh, Dope Dope and Dying. It's near, actually not Sugar Hill Cafe. God damn, uh. this motherfucking producer don't know his fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mama, you I'm just still pull up. Yeah. I'm still pull up. Let I'm still going. pull up. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. I'm, I'm sick of this nigga. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> this nigga coming yeah. here drunk every fucking time. Uh, <laughs> it's that COVID brain. <laughs> <laughs> 
pandemic brain, brain, baby. Pandemic brain, baby. Pandemic brain, baby. Yes, pandemic sir. brain. I'm sorry. I'm a little foggy. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. Yeah, take your headphone off. Steam comes out like. Ooh. Oh, you see bad. that there? That smoke. God, that smoke. Neurons ain't firing. DC Williams. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm DC motherfucking Williams. Oh, you can still follow me on Instagram at Amber Heard Did It. No, all right. I'm done. I'm too much. You can follow me on Instagram at DC Does It. Uh, DC Duzizi I with two T's. D Z U I T T. Um, Make it real easy. Mungo and Oxtail every second and last Friday of the month. And um, I'm hosting a show tonight. That also doesn't matter because it's coming out uh, Sunday. But at Spaghetti Tavern, Thursdays at 9 o'clock, man. Come see me. You mean? <laughs> Shit is going to be crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, my name Kevin is, Sanchez. My name is Kevin Sanchez. You can find me at Johnny Depp likes it dirty. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I mean, it's Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Uh-huh. Those are two good <laughs> names. I love both of you. Yes, that's really ever heard did it, Johnny. I like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker likes to eat ass, <laughs> with <his> poop on <laughs> it. Because <laughs> how else that bitch wiped? <laughs> Johnny Depp's tongue. Ooh. Anyway, it's Kev Sanchez on Twitter. It's Kev Sanchez on Instagram. And you know what? I got that Mongo and Oxtail shit. Ooh. Not August 5th. It's spicy. <laughs> Not August 5th. Spice. That's, my, that's another show that that's, we all do it's, together. It's, it's, God damn it, nigga. Important. I got to tell you one more motherfucking <laughs> time. What's the name of the goddamn show, nigga? Talk to you him, been nigga. on the show. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my Diddy on. I'm sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Remember when Diddy was saying daddy <laughs> all the yeah. time? Yeah. Yo, yo Diddy. Diddy, Diddy turned into Ken. Diddy was going to yeah. yeah. get into Turkey. Do, do, do plus. Yeah, Say that. Okay. Right. Remember that. It's Kev Look Sanchez. It it's Kev Sanchez. Daddy. Doped up and dying. Subscribe. <laughs> yo, you watch this shit this far in, you know the vibes. You got to subscribe. You got to like. You got to share with a friend, my Talk friend. Boop, 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 boop. You know <laughs> what time it is, yo? We trying to not have a real job. Mm. We trying to go on tour. We mm. trying to bring the vibes to your city. City. Mm. Doped up and motherfucking dying. Guys, I'm Dylan J. Nigger. Go follow me on Instagram at Dylan J. Nigger. Go to the website, DylanComedy.com. All dates out there. I just updated it today and updated it more on Sunday. You can go there right now. I'm, I'm hosting for Big J August 8th and 9th. Hey. I'm doing Frantic uh, August. Uh, no, sorry. Hey. No, not August. Sorry again. I'm July 8th and 9th. I'll be hosting for Big J. Can I get some music? Uh, <laughs> that was so dumb of me. One second, I'll tell you what happened after. I'm still dancing. Ooh. Uh, I'm still dancing. Keep it going. Though. Keep yeah. it going, young dear. Young dear, open up for you Big J. Yeah. July 8th and 9th. I'll oh, not one but two days. I'll be not one but two days? Four not sh- one but two days? Four shows. Wow. Open it. Oh, hosted for Big J. Gunshot. Make sure Gunshot. to come to those. Gunshot. Albany, New York. I'll hey. be uh, also doing August 5th or 4th. It, on that Friday, we're doing a show in Brooklyn. Momo's Ooh. gonna be on that. Hey. And what else is coming? Oh, I'll be at the Stan Common Club. Thank you. That's what uh, I'll be on Frantic. That's oh, what I was like. July fourth, Monday, Frantic. Guys, coming to that show. That's gonna be my. That's gonna be a big show. Uh, Move the mic, comedy show. That'd be fun. And then Black Ass Comedy Show. Hey. Oh yeah, Tom's rooftop going away. Extravaganza. Drugs and beer encouraged. Where's uh, Tom going? Who's Tom? Is, it, <laughs> is also is that a show? Uh, yeah, it is a show. Uh, Tom okay. is a guy who uh, works for all of us and okay. uh, with all of us. And um, he has a really cool rooftop in uh, Philly that's been known to put on shows and other stuff. Where's he going? And he's moving to New York. Moving to New York. Oh, oh sweet. Drugs so, and what? beer encouraged. Drugs yeah. and beer encouraged. <laughs> Yeah. Where you think we are, baby? <laughs> Fish Town is an okay place. Come to Tom's rooftop, develop a habit. I gotta move to July. Hey. I know we gotta reorganize that. <laughs> All right, and um, yo, <laughs> guys, that's it. I mean, that's it. Oh, oh, one more yes, thing, sir. guys. By the time this comes out on Sunday, they will be at it. I don't know if my boys notice. New merch. The 10 oh, Minutes yeah. Too Long Tour! Merch is officially coming! <laughs> merch, merch, merch. Didn't even peep. I'm not going to show you the back. It has my face on it. I want you to go see it on the website. <laughs> I, I got to update the one that... This is a, a mock-up. There's nothing on the back. Um, what does your face look like? I'm just kidding. It's like, <laughs> but it's really dope. So guys, that will be on podcast. He's doing white com. face right now. Oh, word. Uh, it is white face. It is white face. Is it in black face on the back of his shirt? That's why he did it. Oh. But it's all whited out so you can't tell. Okay. It's so smart. He, hey, it's the real, white black face? Mm-hmm. That's cool. White face, black scent. You know what to do that. Do the black face and do the black scent. That's you know, true. It's that's classy. True. It's classy. Guys, oh, I thought that's what all dying. Asian people Let's get back like. into the show. <laughs> I was not again. I'm just also, want to talk about uh, we did a show in uh, East Stroudsburg. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're a listener that's anywhere near East Stroudsburg, uh, we're doing the show now, I believe, monthly over there. It's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, my boys got to stretch their legs. Um, when was the last time you've done 20, 25 minutes? Ooh, maybe a month ago, I did uh, 20 minutes in Philadelphia. I was only supposed to do... But it's always outside of New York, right? Yeah. Yo, you got to do Mongo and Oxtail, bro. Every you want 20 time. minutes, come to Mongo and Oxtail. I would love to. If you don't want producers dancing in your set... If you- <laughs> 
don't want motherfuckers lighting like you at this. four minutes. What happened? Come to Shug. work with Knox Tail, man. Producer's <laughs> dancing during your set. He's just talking about no. some nigga shit. You yeah. have, we're going to oh. have to fill him in later. Yeah, yeah, Y'all should like it. splice this I'll with. I'm forgetting some time yeah. that you're yeah. giving me. You ain't never seen Suge Knight run up at the Source Awards. Oh, pull that up. Yeah, you got to pull it up. That's culture. It's one of the greatest moments of all time. Sorry, by the way. I'm trying to guess it, man. I talk about Diddy Daddy. While that's getting pulled up. Wait, what am I searching for? Suge Knight. Suge Knight Source Awards. Not all up in your videos. <laughs> that works too. Okay, wait. I realized while I was doing the website and doing the <coughs> dates, I was actually trying to stall. I'm a little high, guys. But believe it or not, we get high and dope up and dying. And uh, my brain kind of skipped over and I wanted to say it now. Um, we're going to do something special for the next episode because it requires money and I want to do it right, Momo. If you want to do something right, you got you to gotta do it on the right day, right? You got to right. require Let's money. Do something right. You got to make some this money. This is yeah, not right. only That's a very right. special episode. We missed, by the way, we missed episode 69 last week. <laughs> Thank God, because we would have talked about it the entire episode. Noise. But uh, wait, pause that. You have you have it pulled up, Natalie? Guys? It's Natalie DeChico's one year on Doped Up and Dying, producing for the show. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Hey. Hey. Didn't tell me. Couldn't get you a present, but now that yo, I know. Yo, uh, I want to say, Nat, I hope you're listening. Dylan told us. Dylan what did he tell you? told me when I got here. Yeah. DC just found out. Right now. And so did Momo. DC Pooja. wasn't here on my first episode. I didn't even know who you were. I wasn't, so but like I, if I knew it was your anniversary, I would at least try or pretend to and care. Then also, if, what we didn't realize is we did a one year doped one year doped up pass. Right? Yeah, we're, we're bad at anniversaries, just like all men are. You know yeah. what, though? Yeah. Facts. That's, that's, that's facts, facts, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. facts, bro. Yeah. 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 I can care yeah. less about you, too, bro. And, and, but I but I'll say this, no, nothing against any previous guest or future guest. If there's not a better, this is the anniversary episode. Oh, hell yeah. Like, man. Momo, you don't understand. To have you on the anniversary episode is exactly make, what I, I want. Dylan, can I love you do it, something? Can we Whatever make, you want to do. Can we make Momo hella uncomfortable and tell him why he meant so much to us? Why? What happened? Yo, I don't, yo, I don't know about this. I don't, I don't know, know about You introduced this. me to my love. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that, right. that wouldn't make me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I just nah. started jerking off. Like, yeah, oh, what? Yeah. Yo, I didn't even know. Oh, man, yeah, hey, nah. what y'all didn't know about Momo is he's mad progressive. Yeah, yeah. man. I just, nah, I jerk off the friendships. So. Uh, nah, <laughs> give me shit, man. Get y'all. Let me get y'all. But before, I, mean, I will say, before we get into how much Momo means, I want to say this. Uh, obviously, this show started off with me and another uh, co host. It's gone through a lot of things. I really love where this podcast is coming in. This episode literally is exactly what I want every episode to be. It's yeah. so fun, awesome. Natalie, I've said this to you before. I messaged you this last week after the East Augsburg show. You're such a big part of the show, and everyone, seriously, another round of applause. This show doesn't fucking happen without Natalie fucking DeChico. It does Thank not. you, Natalie. I appreciate Literally, every fucking week. Y'all don't you, understand baby. how much she's a I part love of this. this show. You're, You're the like best. You're the on, best. Uh, Frazier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's 97. Can you give us a reference we both know? Oh, damn. Oh, I dated myself. You're, uh, you're, 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 like, you're like Frazier? daughter from Jimmy Neutron. No, bro. Nah, she's because Jamie there's no radio. Joe Rogan podcast. There it is. She is. There she's it is. Jamie, bro. I, I, <laughs> by the way, one time someone uh, I went home and they were like, oh, so you're like a Jamie. And I was like, <laughs> nah, motherfucker. I'm Joe. I'm, I'm Joe, I'm Joe, Joe bro. I'm, I'm Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm only Jamie on No Need for Apology. <laughs> Yo. Shut up. But Momo, you suck. So, you Momo, start. I remember, because I'm the one who introduced everybody. I would, whoever would listen to me, be like, yo, I want to go to a mic. That but we kept your mic, like, not a secret, but like we only told people we really. They oh, tried yeah, to keep it a secret. It was which the best is less mic. money in your pocket. Nah, it was the best mic. No, 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 I didn't get paid. I didn't want mooks. This is, this is yeah. why. People All that money, I didn't get that money. All that money went straight to the club. To the club, yeah. No, no, no. When I first, I only. I told Dylan, I said, yo, you, yeah, Dylan this. hated the mics. He was like, yo, what is this? I'm yeah. like, bro, you gotta go, this one. go to this one. I go with you. Mm -hmm. This is a guy named Momo. I just met him. I just met you at the time. And yeah. I was like, this dude is going to make you real. He's going to make you feel like this is why I got into comedy. Yeah, for for shit sure. like this. For sure. Like, cause like we, at the time, and even now, sometimes I don't get that many shows. Like I'm getting shows, but back then, I back then it was. Yeah. It was rough. Ooh, yeah. Bo, you don't understand. Like, you had your own thank, show, by the way, thank God for blessing that now we're producing, we do our own stuff, and we have even have this. Momo, you don't understand. We're blessed now to even be able to have Momo come do this show. Yeah. Back then? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. It's yeah. rough. Don't know where to find stage time and how to even be happy so then doing you, it. So then you got to do. You're in a room full of everybody, friends and shit, and you like, what the fuck? What is, is this shit? Oh, you're laughing, Buddha, I, mad, depressed. I gotta make. Like, yeah, or you just depressed as shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, now I just want to kill myself. Like, and what's worse is like you got that energy, and then you're supposed to perform with that. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the yeah. Fuck? How are you supposed yeah. to be? How are you supposed to enjoy your life? Nah. I remember. Nah. So so I remember being there and be like, okay, this is a gem. Mm-hmm. This is gonna and also he encouraged doing new material all the time, right? And the motherfucker did two things. If you were if you didn't know how to perform and it was your first time, he didn't bother you. But if he's seen you a few times and you were bombing, like because you look like you didn't care, I'm call you out. I'm call you, him call you, you out ASAP, man. ASAP, you know, that shit was trash, I remember man. one like, time he was fuck? like, "Hey, yo, what the fuck you doing up yeah, there? Man, like, what is this, Bro, man? Me yeah. and Dylan in the back. Oh, no! yeah, yeah, man. You don't understand how like." You know, listen, I mean, now I work with like Derek Gaines and people who do that on a different level. And yep. it's so funny to think back now how much I always went towards that. We, even for me, remember my first time going up, Momo would uh, say something during your set. And when I say there'd be people, other comics, like no one listens to comics. When someone's like, hey, man, let me give you a let me, uh, let, let me, uh, by the way, I do this because you would stop the time because you would never I take time yeah. from the comics to talk. Yeah. Other people do that in a sense. They'll just yeah. run the whole thing. Yeah. So you pause it. You go, by the way, I'm not taking your time. I'm actually adding 30 I seconds. About yeah. Listen to me real quick. You went Make way too quick. Yeah. No yeah. one could hear what the fuck you were saying. Start over. Yeah. And I'm wow. adding 30 seconds extra. Go. Yo, and that yeah. shit. And then when Bro, you, that's unheard of. But here's another yeah. thing. When you murder with a bit. In that place, I gave it, it up. felt like you were doing you a show. It up. But it up. Because you were giving it up, but yeah. you had us to give it up. Yeah, and everybody So we would were laugh, very attentive. We laugh, man. I was listening to that, but it was crazy too because, like, you said that. You're like, you hear something that, make, that that's funny. Laugh. Fucking no, laugh. Like, laugh. And don't be in your man. notes. Don't that be in yeah. your rule. Don't be in yeah. your notes. Like, if you don't know what you're going to say before you got here, that's fine. You don't know. Yeah, man. You just, weren't ready anyway. Yeah. But no, yeah. you would be like, Figure it out up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just do it. Just but do it, while man. you're in this room, we all chilling. Yeah, yeah, man. And and it takes a special individual to do that. Because I've tried to run mics like that, too. And it's like. Well, you did it you, different, you, bro. You get tired. Yeah. You're like, I can't do. I don't My know how you did it My energy came from y'all, though. Like, I would show up there pissed. Like, I used to leave work just being like, man, thank God I got this mic. And then y'all doing. Like, new comics have just a certain energy that older comics just don't have. Like, that jaded... Uh, hate the, the world energy. Hate the world. Yeah. Like, yo, this ain't gonna work out. Like, I know that it could be naivete, but uh, a new comic is just like, yo, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna kill it. Five years, I'm gonna get... Just for laughs, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get that. You like the I'm hunger. Killing it. And new comics tell jokes that I have not heard. Mm. You feel me? Like a a joke that I haven't heard that I couldn't even like. Where's this going? Like I can't piece. I can't beat you to the punchline. I can't even think about a tag. Like a joke I haven't heard. Interesting. You'll hear that from new comics, but like comics that you know, like you know most of your friends' material. Like you know their sense of humor. If a joke that mm. they have works, I don't. I don't because I don't watch my friends perform. You don't. I never <laughs> walk out. Absolutely. Oh, you bro, a dickhead. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. You gotta learn how to. You gotta sit in that shit. <laughs> okay, you gotta learn for your friends in the ups and downs. Man. I will not say this though, I, and this is why I love and hate the three of us all at the same time. Is we did the show in uh, in, uh, in PA and all did like they both did like 20 minutes right and i had kevin going last dc in the middle and we all did the show in atlantic city where they felt i did really well it was cool but i also love where it was a weird show and I, we knew we needed a spark mm. and this motherfucker so we, we always make fun of dc and fuck with him but you always gotta also get flowers this motherfucker went on that stage for 20 minutes and just got it fucking cooked got it fucking cooked and it was funny like it was a lot of fun sitting in the back me and dc me and kevin are sitting in the back like Oh, this motherfucker doing something yeah, today, it, right? Yeah, so it, I it think is that fun energy. That. I think just even that energy, like that's what mics are supposed to be for. Yeah. Like you're working on how do I sit up there and live? Yeah. Bro, live well, I like out, that. Like get it out. You were in there cutting up in a sense. It was just you were chilling. You were those. A lot of mics, you know, aren't like that. Nah. And when I started doing the too mic, too serious almost. Yeah, yeah bro. too serious. I started doing. He's motherfucker I'm basically sorry, doing poetry up there. Yeah, and yeah, it's like a reflection of the host because people like even the mic is a reflection of the host. Mic was mad. The mic, the mic, the energy in the room is a reflection of the host. Yeah, the show, like like hosting, I've found to be like one of the most beautiful things yeah. in comedy. Shouts to Nico White. Um, yeah, shout out to Nico. White, Nico, man. also uh, Nico Pav, but Nico White also. Yeah, Nico, I, I Nico Pav is cool, but Nico funny. White. I I just remember when I started doing comedy, I saw him perform, and he like 
before the show even started, he's like talking to everybody in the room. So he already had a little bit of something. Mm-hmm. They're comfortable with him already. He goes, good looking guy. He's very personable. So now he takes all the energy, flips it into, bitch, now I'm going to talk about you. Yeah. And I know something about you too. Mm-hmm. And he just showed me like, yo, professional energy, just mm-hmm. like how you're supposed to be, mm-hmm. right? Person but, on and off stage. Yeah, but I saw him at a show yeah. and trying to figure that out in that mic world. Like I remember when I started doing open mics, I did an open mic. It was at the Grizzly Pair before the Grizzly Pair became the Grizzly, Grizzly Pair. Pair. It was ran by, uh, uh, his name was Pat. Um, I can't recall. You can go with just Pat. Yeah, yeah Pat. Pat he yeah. used to run with Todd Monesey, uh Pat Rigby. Um, and Todd Monesey, you know, he gives yeah. everybody their first show and shit. And Pat used no to host a mic. Is. You don't know who Todd is. Oh, by the way, by the way, and, and Todd, he was no, no, no. around Todd, when no. I was starting comedy, but I don't know this. By the way, Todd is someone even when um like Corinne Fisher even was like, no, Todd, that's a that's, that's a, a dude, that's a he's a man. No, no, Todd's that is someone gives everybody in their first you can't, show. Nah, man, Janice Massetti. Shout out to Janice Massetti, man. The nah, OG, I'm saying, the Todd <laughs> will put on no you hit him up and be like, yo, man, E three shows yeah, yeah. coming up. I got you. Yeah, got yeah, you. Nice. I got you. I got he with will look you. He'll he'll ask you to do things afterwards. Todd's just I love Todd. Todd's a good dude to me. And uh, anyway, Pat would host the mic and his whole rule, and I took that one rule and tried to create what, that was the first mic that I ever really hosted, the one that I hosted at New York Comedy Club. That's crazy. But Pat, his whole thing was like, it's a mic. Like, I he, he just wanted you to understand what a mic was. Yeah, like, yeah. this is a mic, bro. Like, you're not at a show. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. not, you're, this isn't that. This is where you come to get Work good. Out. Like, yeah. you need to get Work. better. Yeah. And you're not going to get better if you're like, oh, God. Uh, uh. Tight five, tight five every time. Oh, uh, yeah. Time, uh, time, uh, uh, and, 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 um, or if when people aren't laughing, you don't know how to break through it. Ooh. But then it's like, he would be a good host and make everybody comfortable. So even people that were in the audience, it's like, oh, come on, get off your phone. Like, uh, just listen to him. Just like, yo, shut up. Hey, people be quiet. By the way, it's so funny because I'm such a. I'm such a person where it's 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 either two ways. It's either if I'm on my phone and someone's like, "Yo, get off your phone," I'm like, Bro, I'm a I'm a rebel. Fuck you. yeah. Or it's like when someone does that, it's like, oh, I respect yeah, you. And it's yeah. so funny. I remember you walking by me one time. And you're like, "Yo, phone," and I was like, "Yeah." And, and I, I mean, it was one of those things where, but like, it wasn't it was not disrespect. It was like, "Yo, Dylan, we need we all, all of it. We, yeah, we need to. There's, eight, there's only seven of us. It's like we're all staring at yeah. this fire, and we're all gonna." collectively say what we see at it you know my what I mean? two it's i want to like, say two of my favorite momo stories is like i just need you to know how much you really literally mean to at least me and fucking kevin two of my favorite stories DC. fuck you dc yeah, yeah. actually DC. no cmos for you <laughs> <laughs> no cmos yeah, for you is a good yeah. title yeah <laughs> um that is a good title uh for first ones i'm gonna do uh, dc and i'm gonna do my favorite one with kevin dc goes up there and i remember at the time me and him were like super not into mark norman but just like mark norman was getting more popular love mark and dc goes bro my jokes are tighter and shorter. I, I've been working on a lot of tighter, shorter jokes. I just want to run them off and see which ones hit. So we had a lot of quick jokes. And he goes up on your mic and just not even enough time to breathe for any laughs to come through. And like a recital, just ra ra ra, just bat. And I remember you, didn't, I was almost waiting for you to say something. And you waited for him to finish. Just, all right, man. All right, that's all my jokes. I'm DC Williams. You go, all right, wait, 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 DC, DC. Uh, all right, that was a minute 15. Um, <laughs> you have four minutes left. I Try to do what you just did in, four, in that yeah. four minutes yeah. and take a breath. Dude, bro, no, 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 no. But mic. listen to me. When I tell you, I heard jokes. I was like, I didn't I didn't hear him say that joke, but you did. You said all of it. But when Momo was like, yo, dude, you have four minutes. We're all right here. No one's I leaving. That night, no I, one's fucking moving. No I one's told moving. A joke. Yeah. This is when I just got past the comments but I had no idea the kind of material that I needed to perform. And I was just writing like these one liner type of jokes. Yeah. And one of the I told them it was a bad joke too. I think about it, it was um about moving into a new apartment and I decided to get a couch in my room instead of a mattress because I didn't want to get bed bugs. It turns out that has nothing, the their dude. name has nothing to do with ah. furniture. It was like a lot of That's like silly. shit like no, that. Like and that. um, But yeah, it, I was saying it pretty but fast, do you, but I didn't Do you remember that. that moment when he I was remember, like, yo, remember. that was a minute 15. I don't know if I performed again, but, but I like, do remember him saying like, nigga, slow down next I, I, time. I, like, you know, it's it, funny, it, I, I'm telling you, whether, if I not, maybe I deleted him or not, but if I just go back up, because I, I remember taking photos of you that night and I remember even showing you, bro, the whole time you're just like this. I was like, put the phone down. We can look over, do a joke. But I was doing new material, though. No, no, I, no, no, I know, but I was like, material. but the still was like slowed the down. Is like, yo, bro, come on, bro. You know why I was bombing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like, there's context. Bro, there's chill. Context, context, and then the second one is, it's funny, uh, not funny, it's a lot of fun for me because it's a bit he still does, and I've watched it grown. 
grows so much. This dude right here does a bit. He tells me about it. And he goes, yo, I'm going to do a new bit today. And I'll only, I want to do it at Momo's. Kev mic. used to be one of my favorites. Like, Kev, uh, Kev, Kev was hilarious. hilarious. So like, Kev, Kev would come yeah. through. So Kev goes yeah, up, with the, up there with this new bit about a girl grabbing his titty. And this is the first time I've ever heard it. <laughs> look, 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 look. I kind of remember. So yeah. this is the first time I've heard it. First time you've ever heard it. And I remember us sitting outside of New York Comedy Club, smoking a joint, talking shit. And I remember him, you guys are talking about the bit. And I'm not going to lie, Kevin, I told you this in the beginning. I thought this bit was gonna go nowhere. I thought he should just throw away the bit. I didn't. I didn't laugh when I heard, first heard it. I was like, I don't know where it's going. But you go, go. Nah, there's something there, and you kind of. I remember you guys playing with it for a while. Yeah. Maybe a line came out, and he. And I remember Kev getting excited, and he goes, mm -hmm, yeah, No, yeah, you're right. And I didn't. I didn't. I didn't throw him negativity, but I remember in my head being like, I don't. I my brain couldn't see where it was going, mm -hmm. but you did. Mm -hmm. And bro, now when I hear him tell this bit, it's one of my favorite bits of his. And yeah, he man. Tells it and if it, it makes kills, you actually and excited, and it's one of those bits where when he tells it, you can tell him it's one of his stronger bits because it's so you honest. You care, and it yeah. comes from that place. Like, and I want to not thank you for him, but it's like <laughs> thank you for doing it. Like uh -huh. Momo watching you. you sit there and go, no, nah, and you guys, the way you pit pat, you were like, bro, this is such a new bit. And you even said, I remember you being like, there's a lot to this. It's going to take time yeah, to understand that. All and tell me, did that bit shit. take time? Have you it took like a year? Have it took like a year to like consistently get consistent laugh. But yeah. we weren't. But tell me something. Correct me if I'm wrong. We were not used to jokes doing having to do that. We were not used at that time for jokes needing to take a year, maybe. To yeah, work, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. To get that funny, yeah. where if I were dumb over Usually, punches, you were the one, buddy. Just work ha it out. Have yeah, you ever been jacked right. off like this ever in your life? Well, no, actually, I have. You see, one day when you're a comic, you'll understand. <laughs> you know what yeah, it is, man, though? Jamie Wolf used to come through to the mic, and he gave me some love. He was just like, yeah, man, uh, he won Philly's Funniest, I think. And he was like, yo, I was going to give up on this bit, but now the bit that like crushes was a bit that you were like, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's good. Exactly. Like, that's, that's, good. Good. Nah, nah, exactly. That's, that's actually good. I'm thinking that maybe in my life, I, I, I'm doing less stand-up than I've done in the sense of like I don't do open mics really mm -hmm. at all. Like, I'm getting better. Get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. I think... I think I know what I want to do on stage and I care when I am on stage more. But when it was just like liquid, you just don't give a fuck. You're just like, all right, fuck hey, yo, it. Yo, by the way, it's so funny you say liquid. Um, sitting with uh, Derek Gaines at the sand yesterday and we started laughing. We've already said it because it's Bruce Lee, be water, right? Yeah, be water, right? Shit runs and we've already, yeah. we meet him already. They've, that group, me, him, and Dave have already been saying, yo, be water on stage. I want to be water. But it's so funny because with this new young group of comedians, even me being included, you know how every young, the word fire, yo, that was fire. But what'd you do up there? Yo, the, the set was fire. The mm -hmm. crowd was fire. I don't want the crowd. I don't want to be fire up there. I, I, I want to be water. I, I, I want to be water. And then dripping, we were just laughing. Dripping, high yeah. as fuck, by the way. High as fuck. Dripping, high as fuck, baby. by the way. Yeah. But we were just laughing. We were like, yo, I don't want to be fire on Melted. stage. Yeah. I want to be water. Yeah. And it was just like... And by the way, you're nobody's happy. Not... Nobody's happy in the fire, but I've seen plenty of people yeah, happy. Yeah, exactly. Right, people be having a good ass time. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody happy in fire, bro. Why, uh, now, every time somebody bombs, fire, yeah. Yeah. more fire, more fire. <laughs> every time somebody bombs, like, this motherfucker was on fire tonight. Oh, yo, every he time killed the whole room. He killed the whole room. <laughs> Left yo, room. Oh, that, that is a good. I will say though, yo, how was he doing? Yo, he was on fire. How's the crowd? They're oh, toasted yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, they dead. Those brain cells. They're toasted. They're burnt to crisps. They're dead. I think. All right. So also, you're allowed to. I feel like I don't want correct me if I'm wrong again. I feel like you're one of those people that's so giving that you would keep doing open mic, keep hosting open mics. I would love Momo, to host on. Yeah. You're allowed to just do shows. Yeah. You're funny enough to only do shows. I you're mean, allowed to only be booked. I love comedy. Like I really, really like I, I've tried to I, I don't have these conversations, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I used to go to the creek, I was at the creek every second of every day. Um, I would always hear comics having that, oh, who's the best? comic conversations and shit right like who, who do you think is oh, funnier yeah, who's yeah, better yeah. or some shit like that and i would never get into these conversations because it's like that, that that's so surface level to yeah. me like comedy so emotional to me like mm -hmm. i actually see it as a psychological thing like yeah. people it's so cathartic that you can literally change a person's life we'll get the joke. most laughs what gets the most shit that hurt? That, that, that shit pain, that like yeah, people that be like, I know exactly yeah, what yeah, he went through. Yeah, that real shit. And and like every time I love when I hear when I hear y'all ever been through that or like I say something like and you hit somebody yes. like, yeah! 
yes. When you yeah. get that, that's almost akin so to like, like you dig it out of like the recesses of their mind, and it's like that so. is beautiful. That shit is like when it's done right, like Big J, great. You it's know, funny you about to say. I was gonna say one day Jay was talking about right. uh, how Joe Rogan wouldn't let uh, like him and all them like play with his toys. And he was like, "Yo, it feels like when you go over like the like the rich Jewish kid, the fat Jewish kid's house, and he's like, look at all my new toys, but you can't touch them.' Yeah. And when he said that, I was like." How yes. do you know about yes. that? I was yes. like, so well, he is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I meant more like, it's just like, I know you said. Such a thing of he sees those it. references of yeah. like back of your brain shit, yeah. But like, the reason why I wouldn't get into those conversations is because it's such an emotional thing. Like, comedy is supposed to be this thing that is like, like they say a haiku is supposed to be like two lines and then mm -hmm. like it's a line that like cuts the other lines in half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like the punchline. It's literally like, all right, so there's all this information and your brain is thinking it's gonna, the go neuron's up. gonna fire and go over it and you cut it and it's like, mm -hmm. no, nah, actually it's like, it's magic. Mm -hmm. Like in a in a sense, and then you look back and you see the formula. You go, oh no, this is this is the formula for yeah. for cake. It wasn't the formula for whatever I thought yeah. it was. It's bread, like, like you could fuck around and make yeah. bread instead mm -hmm. of making cake. You know, with the same ingredients. But I think that I I love comedy so much that I would do open mics. But I don't think people really care about comedy per se anymore. They just really want to get famous, want to get on, want to be put on. And so, like a lot of the energy is like, how do I get put on faster mm -hmm. rather than how do I get as funny as possible? Like, what is, how can I work on one joke for a year? And people don't even recognize that like, oh, I'm going slower. I say this word louder. I've, I've like literally calculated everything I can out of it to be like a scientist with this shit. Like I care, like, Bro, it was it was so shit. fun. I was in uh I was in DC with you know, Derek and Dave and I was hosting and Dave just said to me, he was like, Bro, slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Be like, here. No, nothing about your your be set. Here, yeah. Just just be slow here. down. And I remember I said a line, I think I said it before on the podcast. I said a line and I've never gotten a laugh off that line, but it was just because I stopped, let it hit them, and it hit them twice, and then they laughed and I was like, There it is. I almost want to be like, yo, Dave, did you hear that shit? Like, it was like when you want to run to your parent, you're like, yeah. Did you it just did it. And That's it the beauty wild. of comedy. Like, it, when you start exactly. realizing it's that, like, like yes, oh, I just, beautiful. if I just took a breath there, all of that's now funny. Yeah. It's like, that shit is just magic. It's it is crazy. Magic. It's it is magic. Just playing with your voice. Yeah, man. Just playing with your voice a little bit. Where do you talk from? Like, uh, like I'm now at the point of comedy where I'm trying to figure out, like, yo, do you talk? Some people talk from their throat. Chest, some people yeah, talk yeah. their chest. Some mm -hmm. people talk from their hands, through their hands. Mm -hmm. You look at somebody like Chris Rock, it looks like Chris Rock is talking a lot. Yeah, like all, all the things. Neck, yeah, everything yeah. is all up here. Chappelle is like trying to be in, in, in it and shit. Mm -hmm. And some motherfuckers sit down, because you know what I mean? Yeah, Just so yeah. that they can be like a weight. Um, like, I don't know where my comedy career is going to go, but I'd like to just keep being involved in comedy. 100%. If it means like, I, I my dream when I started comedy was like I wanted to be what that mic was professionally, mm, but oh, it's a TV oh, show that we're working on. You know what I mean? Mm. Where it's like all of us are trying to make this thing as funny as possible. Your idea comes out, and then now it's us to like chop it up. Like, all right, so what is funny about it? How can we maximize? What Every can we do with ounce, this? Yeah, what, there's something there. What can we do with it? And I have not worked in a writer's room. A lot of TV I watch is shit. Like, Trash. I try to watch a lot of, like, the late night shows. I like Seth Meyers. I think he's good. But, like, the joke writers, they're all, they all make the same joke. They all read the same Twitter feed and just make what, the same shit. What I shit. say now is a lot, of, a lot of the writers on TV are trying to make jokes that they've heard before. Yeah. I just I'm rewriting the jokes that I've heard the jokes do. It's like yeah. what's it, Black it, Twitter it's, saying it's right what, now or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like what, also what people have said about the I Simpsons. Wish, like, I, I wish uh, uh, Seth Myers or somebody was like, "What is Black Twitter saying?" Right? I mean, <laughs> whoever the black guy they got on there, that person jacks off of. Uh, oh, like Black uh, Twitter. Yeah. Oh, and I, I didn't think know Amber that. Ruffin. Like basically, like a lot of these motherfuckers just surf Twitter all day and then compile like the best takes yeah. and then. All right, well, we have to make it edited or whatever. But, um, like, I watch Desus and Mero. I watch, like, nothing but late night shows because I figure in some deep part of my mind, like, that's how I'm going to get That's into where you're going to be. You, you want to yeah. do, like, late night. You want to be, like, a late night writer. I would like to. Like, I like the mm -hmm. ability to take a topic that happened in the day, deconstruct, and make it actually funny. Like, I you think that's. You want to be a staff writer, though? Or you want to be, like, uh, I would love to be a staff book. writer. Yeah. Like, that type of thing. Um, I've been writing, like, a lot of, like, Mark Twain ish type short stories and shit. So, like, I just feel like. I need to do something that has a bigger thought and, you know, right mm -hmm. towards it. Big picture shit. Yeah. I yeah. would like to do that. I can see Mo being like the Anthony Bourdain of 
Yeah, of man. Comedy. I have a friend of mine. He's a chef. Man. He wants to like make a TV show based on him being a chef, and he was just asking me to like just come up with ideas. What, what inspired that? He, I know. He I know. I know. You just watched the Anthony Bourdain. Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> Anything was like, I want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Gently, I know you just watched the Anthony Bourdain uh, documentary, and I know you really meant that genuinely. Like he's gonna be the next. He keeps you know, bringing up Anthony, Anthony Bourdain. Anthony, I love Anthony, Anthony Bourdain, Bourdain. But what like, he man. did kill himself. Oh, uh, I mean, so do a lot of people. A lot of people want to do that. Yeah, but they, I, I'm just saying. Maybe have, don't be like. I would he's love Anthony to Bourdain myself myself if he's I gonna accomplished go really what big Anthony and Bourdain then. did. Like, if literally, it, it, once you do it all, it's like life is a joke. And it's life is a joke to me now. But yeah. it's like if I got to the point where I actually accomplished things, then I'm like, hey, no, mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like, you know when you watch something new and you can't wait to like refer to it in conversation. That's what this nigga's doing, bro. Oh yeah, I love it. Anthony Bourdain is. It's, How do you think I come up with bits? Bro? It, I, bro. Me too. But you're you're like you want to use That's the reference. What brings me to Seamoss. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I saw a video. I feel you. I, I saw a video. I love, that was I love, like, the, I love the, the idea of a Kevin at Kevin at like a really nice party, and they're like, "So the uh, economic value." He's like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah have you tried CMOS? <laughs> oh, yeah, or, yeah. Have you oh, tried? Have you, have you heard of Anthony Bourdain? Have you oh, tried yeah. CMOS? Because Anthony Bourdain used to talk about CMOS. <laughs> That's, That's, That's why he just everything his he's heard this last you think, week. You think he killed himself? Not he killed him for giving away <laughs> the secrets, man. <laughs> just giving away those CMOS. I can't secrets. wait till you watch another documentary and just refer to it out of nowhere, bro. Completely right. out of context. Yo, so CMOS, <laughs> like, all right. So basically, you want I want me to read the. Oh my yeah, I would love. I, 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 I was about to say. I was people don't know that the viewers gonna, might not. Know. I was going to say we, we, uh, we can close out with uh, CMOS. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, you. I figured it's a good way to. So. Um, a serving of sea moss, right? No, a 10 gram serving of sea moss contains calcium, 7.2 milligrams, magnesium, very good for you, Fos- fossil f- phosphorus, 15.7 milligrams. It contains fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Fossil 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 potassium, which Pretty you could also get in sea moss, you know, bananas. Iron as well, good for your bones, good for your nails. Zinc, you know, bananas. Good for everything. And magnesium, 0.4 grams of magnesium. The biggest magnesium, thing that man. it has is a, yeah. this thing called selenium. Yes. Like a lot of people. That wasn't that, the, the biggest thing is no, the thing that wasn't, wasn't on the list. On there, yeah. Yeah. Basically, what if, what, if, what if they were lying to you? See, I don't know. I hope not. Now, now, now you found out a selenium not even in that shit, Not even in that shit. Oh, I got fake sea You got fake sea balls, I'm just eating cum. It looks like cum. It looks like nut. I'm not going to lie. Like really sick, viscous. Cub, like a and they use it to thicken things too. Yeah, that's, that's why, why yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a plasma. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, basically, I uh, as I'm now getting older, and I was worried about like my mental health, Facts. things like that. Prostates. Yeah, man. Like you just you just want to be better. My girl wants to have kids and things like that. She got the goalie removed recently. Uh, the the IUD. Oh, oh, the IUD. Oh, yeah, oh man, the she, goalie. This yeah, thing. Got, like, oh, that shit look like. like yeah, yeah, don't that shit look like nut? You get it blunted. Like, I don't know if your nut looks like that, bro. You gotta do some more cardio, bro. Yeah, man, nah, man, I got that strong nut. I got that DC. <laughs> chunky DC. ass nut. Bro. DC. Yeah, the chunky nut. <laughs> From an auto bu- a blumkiner. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. you're allowed to judge I shoot anyone's often, nuts. bro, but I shoot often, though. So what that's, why, that's, why that's, sh- yo, that's why your shit is basically I'm shooter, water, bro. I'm a shooter, man. <laughs> Shooter's gonna shoot. Yeah, bro. So, uh, no, so I basically am just trying to be more healthy. I stopped eating red meat a lot. Got to, stopped man. Eating, I, I stopped eating pork many years ago. No stopped, swine, bro. No, no uh, dairy. Like, my dairy intake has been cut down. No milk, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, no swine, bro. You got to keep it. I love when no DC pork turns into a white girl. No pork. No pork on my DC pork. DC will talk shit nah, about bro, like, yo, Amber Heard's well, crazy, bro. Amber Heard's a bitch. But y'all got to use the sea monster. No swine on my vine, It's called balance, man. It's called balance. It's called balance. It's, it's also Paying white women, but also using all the things that they've hey, yo, given bro, us. That's how he traps us. Hey, yo, first of all, don't say, research. don't say white women giving us anything. They take that shit from Ram Dass and they take that shit yeah, from Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. They just I grew up on They organized it. Yes, they did. They put it on, they put it on Pinterest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They do, they they do put it up. There's like a Google can, sheet of like CMOS treatment. Oh, yeah, mm. bro. There's whole twerking classes. Like white girls can't even twerk and they're like, but I can make a class out of it. The white girl, the white girl, they can though. The white girl, the white Oh man, that shit's just a lesson, bro. This bitch is dope, bro. This bitch is named Paz Neo. Like the best ass I've ever seen in my life. Did Dude, don't, to a say don't say this. Don't say this. Not gonna. Why lie. would you say this? You drink sea moss. Your girlfriend is my black. Girlfriend and has listen a to what you're saying. It's really nice ass, but I mean, like the nation of Islam it, it doesn't approve. It just made no sense. Of what you're from saying. Jiggle I, I, I'm to, a, I'm a, I'm it just to, made no sense. Hey, mama, it literally made no sense. Stuff a law, brother. Stuff a law. Mama, I'm gonna have to take away Farrakhan Fridays. Facts, bro. No more Farrakhan Fridays. 
Spencer Brother, Fauci Sarah Pratt Khan, is new. Do you understand the ass on this white woman <laughs> <laughs> made me feel some kind she of way? Been a light skin white. She could have been a light skinned John, and I just saw her. Maybe wrong. she was African, Northeast, North she African. She definitely yeah. could Algerian or something. Yeah, she was. Algerian, she looked like she was on some European type shit. Or Jewish shit doctor. Asia to go into war. Jewish bitches Middle be East, having Israeli, fat asses too. I'll be like, I'll yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put a yarmulke on that. Yeah, I'll be, stu- be stooping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Jewish girl <laughs> I, I, I had this dumb joke that was like, uh, what's a Jewish dog's favorite game to play? Whoa. Kvetch. Kvetch. <laughs> I don't get that joke. You don't know what kvetching is? It's a kvetching. So it's a sounds some like something Yiddish. a Jewish person wouldn't. Hey, Momo, to your Momo, defense, Momo, to your I'm def- gonna give you another thirty seconds so you, so, so you can do that joke better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a name. Boo, 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 boo. All right, all right so you, all right. So you know what a Jewish dog's favorite? Guy is. <laughs> no, but so you, if, instead of playing fetch, they play kvetch. Kvetch is like when you talk. What's it's a like, Jewish dog too, though? <laughs> I don't a know. A traitor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely not one of the <laughs> ones that Al Schwartz does. Sea moss is it's really healthy. I'm trying to drink more water, be more yes. healthy in all these types yes. of ways. And uh, basically, uh, I saw this video from Dr. Sebi, and he's just like, all right, if it's not natural, it's not good for you. Sea moss is something that's very natural. It's like it is. from the earth. And um, once upon a time, I worked at a uh, organic st- uh, co-op uh, down in Tacoma Park, Maryland. It just sound like once upon a time. Yeah, well, really, I, once I graduated college, I guess like 15 years ago. Um, Damn, wow. Yeah, I'm, thir- well, not 15, uh, yeah, I'm turning 35. Yeah, so almost wow. 15 years. Damn, crazy. Okay, time flies, like, man. Yeah, time yeah. flies, bro. Anyway, so like, I worked down there, and I, I tried something called spirulina. Spirulina, yeah. You know what you get, spirulina? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's like a... a, a it's like a green algae that's ground up, mm-hmm. and you can. It's like a superfood. It like, and I, I, I took it, and I felt like a plant. Like I felt so <laughs> much fucking energy. It was out of fucking control. Like I felt like yeah. a plant. Like, and it was too intense that I it was like, probably had cacao root in it. Or yeah, a little bit it was of cacao in it. nigga. I should like jet fuel. It literally expelled toxins out of my body. Yeah. I started sweating profusely. My nose started running. I started shitting. That's called puking. cocaine, nigga. Nah, nah. It was cleaning my body. I don't even know how to describe it. Was it was cleaning. You know, cocaine, it. it feels like it's cleaning you. Bro. Yeah, no, no, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't know about time. you guys. I mean, like, when he said the plant line, he was I felt like a plant. You guys know in 8 Mile, there's so many good raps that uh, Eminem does. This is a long one. I'm going to get you there, I promise. Mm-hmm. You know in 8 Mile, there's so, many up, good, there's so many good battles and yeah. rhymes in there but there's always one line in eight mile i always just hated and it's just eminence rapping to the dude after the truck and he goes but you stood so long in this line you a plant oh like, you worked so long in this plant you're a plant you're a plant oh, yeah that, and that when was, you said that i was like ah uh, uh, you a plant the best, line, <laughs> best line in eight mile well it was uh your t-shirt screaming out i don't, I don't fit you so that, that was, shit no, was no, not to get that as a kid bro out, oh, Lotto, well, I, I don't, don't fit you. you yeah that was a tight ass wife beater yeah i was like god do you think when he showed up do you think when he showed up to set there he was like he gave his measurements he's like yeah i'm a large white beater he's like this this is a medium they're like no. I'm gonna tell you right now. Eminem's gonna use this. I think it's, it's happened been a, it's in the right last room. minute change. Yeah, you know I mean? well, uh, or a continuity error, and it's a bigger t shirt than yeah. one scene. They're like, whoa, whoa. God, God, Cut. God. Get the fucking small on this guy. You <laughs> ever see a nigga wear a small wife beater, but then he's sagging too? So it's, uh, yeah, all you it's see OG. is his eyes. Like, yeah, this nigga look like a bitch. Hey, yo, bro. <laughs> you, hey, yo, hey, yo, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> you know, you be doing that? You do that? <laughs> nah, but like, you're, uh, uh, the sea moss basically has like. I read that it has like 92 different unique nutrients, minerals, things that are just good for you. Yeah, the one I keep it, said, said bringing up is selenium. A lot of people don't know that they have a selenium deficiency. Selenium deficiency leads to low testosterone, <laughs> leads to uh, dick drowsiness. Up. Yeah, di- sleepy now, bad dick. No, the only person bad- I know who doesn't have a low uh, selenium is uh, Derek Gaines. He wears a lot of selene. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah, shouts to Derek. Uh, uh, I, lo- like I saw the D- mic you used to run. Right? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> okay, I see the leg. It got legs on that one. Uh, like he was, that. He was, he was nah, come back in a year. I saw uh, Derek had this dope ass Celine hat. That's yeah, what that I'm saying. Was so fresh, <laughs> yeah. man. It was so fresh. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, I started taking the shit maybe about two and a half months ago. Um, you still haven't finished it? No, no, I, I, I've bought oh, multiple. I thought you said you started taking the shit. shit. No, 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 no. I was like, you haven't finished it? <laughs> square, square. Yeah. Yes. Nah, so I started taking it again, and basically it started doing the same things that the spirulina did, where it was like, I just... Energy was, increased. Uh, energy yeah, increased, yeah. but like, it was like making me shit 
crazy. Like it was You're fixing up, my G. stomach. Yeah. yeah, it was just Imagine. cleaning shit out. Man, let me. Well, did you see like Mother Ayahuasca or some shit? Like this it sounds felt like, like it. That. It felt like it. Like bro, I started. Nah, this is called eating vegetables, Kevin. I promise yeah, you, you like eat a, more greens, you drink more juice, you will shit more. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, I mean, if celery I'm juice. Ayahuasca <laughs> before I every to week we get, get a fat joke in there. Every, every week, every week a fat. Joke I don't. Even, I like yeah. that you're big, bro. I don't even care. You're fat. I don't want you to get sick. Bitch, fat bitch. I just, you know, today I lunch. I saw you eat the most vegetables I've ever seen, bro. Right, it's good for your character. Yo. Uh, so anyway, I, I, I take uh, I, I start taking the shit, or I start taking this stuff, and I start sleeping better, better energy. That mental the fog that we've gone, been yeah. talking about starting to clear up mm-hmm. even a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like my 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 chest is getting better. Mm-hmm. I'm able to like you jack sit off. Down and you're still hard. Yeah, still yeah, hard, crazy nigga. Shit. Back to basics. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Back to the OG <laughs> shit. I'm just back at it. And what's crazy is like you know how like I said that you get more bones or whatever as you get mm-hmm. older. Like I'm feeling looser. As I lost bones. More flexible. I lost, I'm losing them bones. Yeah. It's Healthy, just like a, that liquid feel. And basically, your body doesn't know how to react. Like, you you, you need so many nutrients, and you're yeah. not eating them. Like, mm-hmm. you aren't eating carrot, 100%. apple, banana. Is uh, that mean ass doesn't have nutrients? I mean, nah, man. Unless uh, that bitch uh, is eating uh, well. She's vegan. Yeah, 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 you yeah, better, I got vegan bitches. Yeah, yeah you fact. better. Nah, but you got to, like, coat it with some sea moss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm not going down on a bitch that you red meat. Yeah, nah. That, yeah, I'm not eating her ass. Red, red meat. I hate both of you. Hey, guys, we have to close out of here. I hate both of you. Let's still smoke some weed hang out. Guys, this is Doped Up and Dying. Yes, sir. Sunday. Morning, morning smoke show. show. Yeah, this is the round table of fuckery. When I tell you this is one of my favorite episodes, it's yes, been sir. so fucking fun. Momo, we say this to all of our guests, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> We're going to have you fucking back. Thank you. Holy Ooh. shit. You're, I would love to be You're back, back in New York, right? Yes, sir. You're back in the Harlem world. Land. I'm in Harlem. Right, oh, awesome. yes, sir. Dude, yeah. uh, you'll see yeah. Momo on both of uh, Mungu and Oxtails and the show Hair and Comedy in Brooklyn. Yes, Go sir. to my uh, website, dunkcomedy.com for dates. You'll see Momo there doing comedy. <laughs> and guys, come hang out. Guys, it's dope to be dying. Natalie. Say goodbye to people. I'm doing. I'm doing a Dave Temple. You are definitely. Um, Natalie, did you go edit on Instagram? Follow Doped Up Comedy on Instagram. And Guys, YouTube. on Instagram, we're almost at 1K, and I, I mean that we're like 400 away from 1K, but that's still almost. If you think about it, if you so, round up from 600, it's like 1K. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, guys, go subscribe to us on Instagram at Doped Up Comedy. Thank you so much again, Momo. I'll be back for the second year anniversary. (laughs) DC Williams. Yes, sir. Man, follow me on Instagram at DC Does It. That is it. Because you know your boy likes to stay away from these platforms. I don't want to talk too much. Cut his mic. Okay, Kevin Sanchez. It's Kevin Kevin Sanchez on everything. And I love you guys. Peace. Peace.